Hi everybody, it's me Ligaro Laxon. Oh, winter's coming up and forgive me, I have like some kind of allergy coming up. I'm here doing a review on the PlayStation 1. My PlayStation 1. As you can see, this is my PlayStation 1. And I think this is one of the best system ever made. Okay. Um, that made gaming evolve into movie production like stuff. Okay. As you can see, um, this is a modified PlayStation in a way. Soft mod add-on. Uh, behind it has a Game Mars movie card. What it is is that you're able to play your backup games and you're able to play your MP3 and MPEG-1, which is VCDs or anything. It converts even PAL movies into... Um, in, it converts the PAL movies into NTSC as well. And it, and it also has a built-in Game Shark. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm actually playing a burnt copy of Gekido. <laughs> Okay, quick, quick, quick thing. One is that I have my PlayStation connected on a computer monitor. Uh, back in the days, because this is how I had my setup when I was actually uh, uh, 17 years old. Um, now I'm 30. I still have this. It's actually called RTV. It, uh, it's a light edition. Uh, what it is is that I didn't have a TV tuner. That's the way, reason why it's a light. What it is that you're able to convert your composites into a VGA out and I like it it's very amazing so let me turn this PlayStation off and uh, let me uh, uh, dig into some more pile of my games these are actually my originals and going further I got more originals right here now to play burnt games okay I get one of these cheap uh, they, they give away for free uh, these demo discs and you can come uh, come across a bunch of these uh, demo discs so I have to turn this switch into VG, uh, it's called VCD, and then this part comes up. It's like, it's just, what it is is that in order for you to watch uh, VCD movies, you have to load a regular, um, you know, original PlayStation CD. So, and then in order for you to play backup games, the same thing. But um, now I'm able to play, see it says exchange VCD, but I'm, I'm not going to put a VCD, uh, that's old technology. I'm going to put a burnt game. So now I have that boot disc. Now let me dig into my pile. I don't want to show how much burnt games I have, but I think I know I got a bunch. Ugh. Okay. Street Fighter Alpha Gold. Now in order for me to play it, I turn that switch. And it also has a built-in Game Shark, memory card manager, and a CD-ROM manager, which you can able to play video files and music files that came from the game itself yeah it already bypasses the PlayStation logo for a reason because the card is doing its thing and this is the best way to play PlayStation 1 games because no matter what there is nothing that can re really replace the PlayStation 1 and China made stuff because they've actually been remaking the PlayStation 1 consoles. This is an example. It's called the JXD M1000. Check it up on ahappydeal.com or JX, uh, what's that called? Um, DealExtreme.com. And you're able to get all these games for free when you buy this unit. But. The problem about that unit is that you're not able to hear the Red Book audio, you know, the, the background music that comes from the CD audio music. So now I'm playing a burnt copy of Street Fighter Alpha Gold. In its highest definition, because with this converter box, I'm playing PlayStation 1 games in the most highest clarity you can, you know, uh, play. Now I'm going to turn it off, since I was showing a burnt game. Now, um, I like R4 a lot. Okay, Ridge Racer Type 4. And turn this guy on. And press the start button. And I, I really like showing this off. Um, uh, let, me, let me show that. Load it. While that game is loading, I'm going to explain the same thing about my Dreamcast. Uh, my Dreamcast 
is actually plugged like this. I have this one box is identical to that RTV, which is it converts the signal straight to VGA because that's the best way to play your Dreamcast games, and I'm playing it right here. This is Ridge Racer Type 4, and it looks like almost identical to a PC game already from its resolution. So, they only made a thousand of this oh, unit, oh. and I'm lucky to have one. And if you are lucky to find one on eBay, good luck because it's very pricey, and no matter what. There is the only way you can play PlayStation 1 games the best way is having at least a 2005 computer, no later. It has to be a 2005 Windows XP and run, um, uh, what do you call it, the com the, that emulator. Um, so anything with Redbook Audio because if you're using a SATA DVD or a CD-ROM drive, you're not able to hear the Redbook Audio. Look at that. This is the Sony PlayStation 1, and I really enjoy it. And there is nothing so far that I've seen that would actually replace the original. I actually used to have a, a Net Your Rose, which was already just like what I have in this setup, but all I have left of it was uh, my Net Your Rose controller <laughs> and the software, which I copied. But this, this, this player is able you to play PlayStation 1 games. But the game are not in full speed. It was very choppy. And the resolution on this is great. But I really thank you guys for watching on this quick review. And I really thank my subscribers. My subscribers have been supportive towards me. Uh, there's other people being hating on my PSP Vita video. Forgive the title. At least the hits are keep on going up. And they keep saying I'm stupid or something. But if I'm stupid, I don't know what I'm surrounded with. All these games and... Um, whatever my setup is, I it, it, originally the PSP Vita, supposedly that's what it was called back then, but it was actually called the NGP, Next Generation Portable or something like that. That's what the PS Vita used to be called, NGP, and um, just to clarify it in this video. And in my next review, I'm also going to show you guys how to play your PlayStation One games on your Dreamcast full frame rate without a problem. There was a leaked version of Bleem. But this copy I have, I altered it. I'm going to have a link later on. I don't follow up with my videos too much. I know there are people asking about, like, hey, what's your next video? But, hey, you know what? I'm a busy guy. So, yeah, but this is my review of my PlayStation 1. And if you have more questions, and I will answer them by via email or check me out on Facebook. All right? And I thank you guys for watching.